call this vehicle Gagarin 1 now. Ah, uh, yes, and then one kind of irritating thing, so this game is still in development. There's uh, a fraction of the planned features are implemented, and they're, they're still doing changes. I One thing I'm going to recommend, I've already seen recommended on the forums, and I want to support this is... Um, so you drop below a certain altitude here, and it it slows down your time compression. I think I wanted to have an option, because sometimes, you say, especially if you're wanting to orbit a whole bunch of times for whatever reason, it ends up becoming very, very time-consuming. Okay, let's do more. Come on. Compress that time. Periapsis and apoapsis. These are the uh, two points of an elliptical orbit. The apoapsis is the high point, periapsis the low point. If you want to move the periapsis, which we just did, then you push at the apoapsis. If you want to move the apoapsis, make it higher, make it lower, then you push at the periapsis. Okay, think of it as a you know pushing a, a child on a swing. If you want you want them to swing higher, you push at the bottom of the swing. And that that is about the extent of everything that I know about orbits. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. That's the best I got for you. Yeah, eventually they're going to have higher quality textures for the planet. They're going to have more parts. They're going to have official support for space planes. They're going to add other celestial bodies to the to the Kerbal system here. Um, it's, it's going to be awesome. This is going to be a good game. Oh, look, okay, I, I don't know, I think probably the resolution of the video, you might not be able to see it, is what I was waiting for. This little... Oh, that's right, you can't see the mouse. Just right in front of the nose of my ship, down there on the ground, there's Kerbal Space Center. And we're just passing over it now. Okay! So that's one orbit. Now, that's mission accomplished. Well, that part of the mission, anyway. Okay, so... Now let's think about this. I want to try... Hmm. I want to try to get back to Kerbal Space Center. This is something I have no practice with doing. Which means I need to move the periapsis over into the atmosphere over here. I don't know how to do that. Got a little less than half a tank of fuel to do it with. Oh, you can see the reflection of the... You see that? That's the reflection of the moon in the, in the water. Oh, isn't that awesome? I love it. I love it. <laughs> space. Okay, well, if I thrust, just if I, okay, let's slow down here. Let's go to, let's go to one time, one real time, no time compression. Turn SAS off. And now we're going to do some experimenting. Do a retro burn here. Do SAS on. Crack that throttle just a hair. Let's see what this does. Periapsis is shrinking. Okay, so that... did the periapsis move? And actually it did move some. Now where'd Africa go? Here it is. Hmm...
See, I know how, because of what I was reading, what I was practicing before, I know how to move this apoapsis this direction. I'll move it out and move it back. I know how to move the periapsis out and back. I don't know how to move the periapsis over here. I'm going to try it, though. Once if I thrust along... along my orbital track... right now... overcorrected... Slow, gentle moves, Matt. Gentle moves. This thing's got a serious delay by the time I move the joystick to... I see a reaction here. So I'm having to try to think several seconds ahead. Okay, good. Crank up throttle. That moves the periapsis this direction. Isn't that interesting? That's the wrong direction. Okay, so... Yeah, I want to move the periapsis around to the other side. I wonder if I wait... I could probably just wait till the periapsis and do a... Do a I need to learn what the actual <laughs> the correct terms is for all this stuff. But to do a reverse burn, reverse against my direction at travel. Is that what you call a ret retro burn? Retrograde? And that'll bring your apoapsis down. Yeah, that'll bring the apoapsis down until such a point as a track may intersect. I'm going to try that. Maybe a bit too ambitious for my first orbit to try to land at a predetermined spot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it anyway. Do some more time compression here. Almost there. Okay. That's right, I need to do retro. So, point our tail along the direction of travel. Overshot it. Come on. Come on. And crack at throttle. Now, in theory, that. Yeah, there's the apoapsis coming down. Where's my target? East Coast of Africa here. You can see the periapsis is changing slightly, but apoapsis is changing like large numbers here. Oh, it's moving over there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. What happened here? Now my periapsis is over here. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's how I can control it. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I'll just wait to periapsis again. I'll push some more. And the periapsis will move. Okay. Actually, i probably push some right now.
align it right in the center. Push gently. Get some periapsis going. Periapsis is starting to head down into the atmosphere. Let's stop right here. We can adjust it some more later. Okay, this is good. Okay, periapsis is down in the upper atmosphere. And it's around the west coast of Africa. Let's just leave it right there. I wonder, actually, no, I think I'll just nudge it down just a hair more so I don't overshoot. I'll tell you what, I'll wait until I'm like 90 degrees away from it. Actually, no, well, no, no, okay, first time, first time trying this. Um, I'm gonna wait till I'm there. We'll see how much the, see how much the atmosphere at 65,000 meters slows me down. Imagine I could actually just, once I get there, I could just thrust directly straight at the, straight down probably hit the target that way. Okay, time compression. Ah, oh, it's gonna move slow like molasses. It's alright. The game is a puzzle. The game is an engineering challenge. The game is a flight engineering challenge. I mean, how can you not love it? Oh my god, I'm going to have fun with this game. <laughs> okay, so we're, I'm about to head down. Let's kill that time compression because I'm about to enter the atmosphere. Turn SAS off. I want to try and monitor the progress here. Oops, 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 oops. So we're just barely in the outer reaches of the upper atmosphere now. The guy's making creepy sounds to me in the radio. See, I don't have a very large music collection of my own self. See there, the periapsis is shrinking a little bit. Yeah, we'll just see how this works. So, if, yeah, this is, I just just turn on last FM and it plays random stuff at me. He might ask me what some of these weird songs are and why I'm listening to them. I've eclectic tastes. I listen to like a whole lot of weird stuff, but I don't really know the names of any of them. If you ask me what any of the songs were, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. It's just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Another thing that would be very, very useful would be if this orbital map view, if it remembered, uh, remembered your, your where you set it, so you didn't have to recenter the thing every single time you look at it. Okay, let's go ahead and get prepare for this backwards burn. It's a little bit smoother. I'm starting to get better at it. SAS. SAS is like the parking brake. <laughs> okay, what's this landmass that I'm seeing down there? So, okay, I'm about over this. I need to learn the names of all these geographical features. I don't even know. That. I just call that one Africa because it looks like Africa. 
I don't know what all these others are. So, yeah, there's that large bay. I betcha. Ooh, there, there's a good harbor over there, towards the to, to the left of the screen. Keep on trying to point at things with the mouse. I have to remember that. I don't know. There's this. You can't see the mouse cursor in the recording. I'll have to remember that. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a very small burn now. Point this there. Let's see what did that do for us? It moved our periapsis a little bit lower and it moved it a little bit to the east here. Let's try it again. I want to put. I want to see if I can put that periapsis directly over Kerbal Space Center. Okay, something weird happened here. What happened? Oh, I just moved it all the way around on the other side of the planet. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah, um, in this case, I'm going to go with a very blunt direct force, brute force approach. I'm going to wait until I'm over the east coast of Africa, and I'm going to thrust straight down. That's my plan.